If you follow my other tutorials, especially the ones from Ilmenau University of Technology, you'll notice that we have many real-time audio examples using a microphone. These examples, they need to be running on your local machine, so you need to configure the proper environment to run these Jupyter Notebooks. We use uh, the microphone, we use PyAudio most of the times, and uh, this way, if you're using your local machine, everything is in the same place. So you have your Jupyter Notebook running, have access to hardware connected to your computer, so you have access to camera, to microphone. But in Colab, the Jupyter note, the Colab Notebook is running in a remote environment, and we don't have access, for example, to a microphone that is located remotely somewhere. However, it is possible to use some JavaScript and use your local uh, media, your local microphone, your local camera, and have access to data from Google Colab. Not possible to um, have real time, but you can also play around recording audio from your microphone and using in Google Colab. So this is a great uh, work done by uh, Ricardo Dias Ambuja. You can uh, look here at his uh, website and there is this direct access to your webcam and microphone inside Google Colab and he explains here that uh, yeah, we can only access hardware connected to the host where the Jupyter Notebook server is running and in Colab this is not uh, the case can only access the hardware from the host, so the microphone would not be available. So he uses here some JavaScript to solve this problem. Uh, for the webcam, it's a bit more easy because also if you go to Google Colab, there will be here an example how to use the advanced output snippets. And here we we'll have access to camera, camera capture. So using a webcam to capture images for processing on the runtime. But Ricardo here, he developed this uh, code running here. So this is from this uh, page, ricardodiazambuja.com. You can run, open here in Colab, record audio for the microphone. I have open here. So first you need to install uh, FFmpeg, uh, so he uses the FFmpeg to decode audio. Then he has here this uh, script, so basically it's using the get user media somewhere. There is this part here, get user media, and then here this part, get audio, then also get this um, data from JavaScript and bring it into Python, so we can also execute the cell. Now, if we start the cell, it will start recording. Hello, hello, test, test one, test two, check, rock and roll, heavy metal, hard rock. Stop. Check. Hello, hello, test. Test one, test two, check. Rock and roll, heavy metal, hard rock. And then you can now plot audio using Matplotlib. There is one more way how we can use the microphone. It's a, a different JavaScript. It's the same concept, but it's a different implementation. It was developed by the guys in Magenta. And you find the code here if you go to Guitars AI Algorithms Repo. This is a repository of different uh, implementations of algorithms in Python, JavaScript, Java, and C++. So we have a kind of a polyglot uh, notebook where we can implement different algorithms in different uh, languages. And there is this uh, very interesting script of scripts that allows you to, in the same notebook, to use different languages. But in this case here, we just, we are interested in this microphone notebook. So we can simply 
copy this and when we go to Google Colab, we will import something from the GitHub. It will list all the available notebooks and we will load this microphone. So it's also JavaScript. We need to install this PyDub that will also handle some audio. We run the notebook. So it will be, uh, in this case, we are going to combine the IPython widget so we can set some parameters to use the microphone, such as the number of seconds that we will record from the microphone. Then we will also use the base64 to decode audio, and we also will use Librosa. So we run these imports, and here is uh, where you find the original codes from the people from Magenta. And if you're not familiar with Magenta, you, you should familiarize yourself in terms of um, what they offer, especially for deep learning in audio. So here is the code to record audio. So we also have this JavaScript. We also use this get user media, we have this recorder, so it's a new media recorder and so on and then we also have here I want to convert the audio file data in bytes into a numpy array then it will save a temporary file and it will load this temporary file using uh, Libros and it will be a WAV file and here we have a form where for example we can let's execute first this, um, this cell here we have a form that we will set for example we will record five seconds of audio so when we execute the cell, there will be this button that start recording. This button was defined here. And we'll call this function record audio. This record audio is here. And this record audio will also call this function here, record audio, where we have this JavaScript that will interact with a, our system. So the browser will have access to the microphone. So we, we can start recording. A one two ha a one two three four so it finished recording it we can play it back a one two ha a one two three and we can also plot our audio we have access now to process this audio inside the OLAB environment so this is a second way it's, the code is a bit different the way uh, the other one used the FFmpeg. This one uses a different uh, mechanism to decode the audio, but it's also based on JavaScript, also based on this get user media. And we combine here with uh, OLAB forms. So we can set here different values for the seconds to record. You can also change the code and have a button to start recording another button to stop recording it's a very uh, convenient way as well to uh, get your microphone audio into the google colab environment